Welcome all. In this lecture, we are going to learn about time response of first order control system when input is unit impulse function. So, since we are applying unit impulse function as an input, that's why our input signal that is R of t will be equals to del of t. On taking the Laplace transform, we get R of t as R of s and the Laplace transform of unit impulse function that is del of t will always be equals to 1. And since we have an expression of c of s that is equals to r of s divided by st plus 1. Now substituting the value of r of s equals to 1 in this expression we get the value of c of s as c of s equals to 1 over st plus 1. Now taking the t as a common from the denominator we get c of s equals to 1 over t s plus 1 by t. Now this whole term of c of s can also be written as c of s is equals to 1 over t in the numerator and s plus 1 over t in the denominator part. Now on taking the inverse Laplace transform we get c of t since c of s will be converted into c of t by taking inverse Laplace transform and that will be equals to this 1 over t is a constant term so it will be written like this and the inverse Laplace transform of 1 over s plus a will be equals to e to the power minus a t so e to the power minus t over capital T so this is the expression of c of t that is c of t equals to 1 over t into e to the power minus small t over capital T. Now moving on to the next step that is error. Since we know that error is represented by e of t which is equals to r of t minus c of t. Since we have r of t equals to del of t and c of t equals to 1 over t minus e to the power minus t over capital T. That's why on substituting the value we get del of t minus 1 over t e to the power minus t over capital T.